Hey YouTube, Laura Rosa here. Um, something I saw on the comments on the internet regarding the newer called uh, 811 refrigerator was how to force it into gas mode, which I had no idea that you were able to do. Um, as you know, I boondocked and I plugged this camper into the inverter and the reefer goes into electric mode automatically. There's only one button on the reefer. So to get it into gas mode, I have to go uh, outside to the back um, service panel and unplug the reefer. And I do this as opposed to flipping the breaker because this coachman camper they put the all the bedroom outlets on the reefer breaker and we use the uh, outlets in the master for charging there's a TV in there and whatnot okay so normally on this refrigerator we just turn it on and it's on um, electric of course if we flip the breaker real quick, one, two, three, four. Um, you see it switches over to gas. Okay. And that's how simple that works. Uh, what I did find out is once you put it into gas mode, um, you see it went back into electric. Um, so once you put it into gas mode, it stays in gas mode. I don't know if this is a service uh, thing that they do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off and hold it. Uh, you turn it on to electric and you hold it. And I think it's not even 60 seconds. But as soon as this yellow light comes on, you, uh, you release your finger. Otherwise it goes into some test mode. So I just heard it click on. I'd have to go out and verify that the gas is on. That's the uh, thing. It's raining today. So that's the thing I would have to do. Um, so that's it. Now if I turn it off. The breaker's still on. So the thing is, is when I turn this on. stays on gas mode um, so then we'll have to get it out of that somehow and again you have to hold the button 30 seconds seems like 30 seconds until the green light comes on Okay, it's back on on electric, and just to test, we will turn the breaker off again to see if it goes to gas, and it did. And that's it. And that's how you uh, that's how you get your reefer to force itself in gas. The only thing I have to check. Let's do it one more time. The only thing I have to check is make sure the gas is on. But I could hear the solenoid opening and closing or whatever relay is in there. I'll check tomorrow to uh, verify. Now if I, you hold this button too long, like I'm going to hold it longer. It goes into some test mode. Oh, it went back. Never mind. So again, just to verify, once you put it into this gas mode, it doesn't go back to automatic to electric. It will just always be in gas. You see, I could turn it off. And the breaker, the breaker is on. All well, the breakers are on, as you can see. Um, 
Now I'll go turn it back on, go right to gas. And I could hear it, I could hear it ignite down below. That's my story. I hope this helps somebody. Um, put some comments down if you know down below if you learn anything else about this feature it would be appreciated thank you